Welcome, I'm Tobin. Recently during a live We Shave with Chris Williams, known here on YouTube as DE Razor Shaving, link in the description. A question came up from a, a member of the audience, the viewers, and there was a question about lather. And I falsely assumed once again, that just because I know something that everybody else knows it. And so I started sharing with him, the viewer, the methods of creating a super lather, also known as a uber lather. And I also invited them to type super lather into the search bar. A couple of videos that I really like from other content creators. I'll have links to theirs in the description so that you can look at how they do it and look at how I do it and then also find what is best for you because the way I do it is a little differently. I like to call mine Epic Lather and that dawned on me last night that I had left out the things that I do a little differently and that I gave it to him in a kind of a, a vanilla type way, if you will. So let me first share with you what I'll be using and then I'll switch cameras. Executive Man from Sterling and I'll be topping that off with Fines Platinum. Both are um, homages to Ventus Creed. Supreme Sandalwood Science, Perazzo Red, both are sandalwood fragrances, and I will be scooping both of those. I am a scooper, so I'll show you the method of how I scoop them. Mitchell's Wool Fat in a vintage Avon mug. For the Mitchell's, I'll be using a boar brush, and I will have bloomed the soap. Everything else, I'm using a synthetic. I'll walk through the steps of the first method, and then from there, I think I'll play it fast, and I won't really walk you through the steps. You'll just get to see how I do it. I think that's how I'm going to do it. I like that idea. I hope you like that idea. And, uh, hey, it's only shaving. Okay, so full disclosure, I haven't seen any videos out there of anyone doing this. That doesn't mean it exists. What's my secret weapon? My secret weapon is a pre-shave. And any pre-shave will do. You could apply it to your face, but I'm not going to do that. I like to apply it to the bowl. And then if you really want to make a crazy lather, apply pre-shave to your face while you're making the lather the way that I'm about to make it. And then you're kind of like doubling up the pre-shave. So I'm just going to take it and hit it for a few seconds. Super lathering used to be more popular five, eight years ago. When I first got into it, I saw more guys doing it. And that's because the bases, the soap bases that we were using back then weren't quite as good as the soap bases that we're using today. And whenever I am using a cheaper product, I might turn to creating a super lather. But for the most part anymore, it's just really not necessary. But there was a handful of people that were unaware during that live of how it's done. And so I thought, I just share it with you all the way that I do my epic lather. And if you have seen a video of anyone else doing this, please let me know. I'd be happy to put that into the description as well, along with the other videos that I'll have in there. I first learned of this method a long time ago, I think from Nick Shaves. Sounds about right. Next thing, the amounts that you use really don't matter. I like to do a two to one ratio. Play with it, find what works best for you. I'm a scooper. Not, not gonna need a whole lot if you scoop. If you brush load, I'd say load about half what you would normally load. Somewhere, you know, in that, that ballpark should do you. Then, taking Peraza Red. Something like that. My brush has a lot of water in it. Um, I soaked it, even though it is a synthetic. The reason why I soaked it is because I wanted it to hold a bunch of water because we're really gonna need water. Kind of just mash it around, get it up inside my brush. Let's hit it. About 45 seconds to a minute. And because of all the water that's in my brush, we're going to start out a little bubbly, a little little airy, a little runny. But with that shaving cream, the pre-shave, and that CK6, 
it's not going to take long. This really works great if you're using a subpar soap. Something like CK6, I really don't think you're going to add a whole lot to it um, other than copious amounts of lather. Put all that lather. Yeah. We probably whip it up a little bit more. Like I said, play with the ratios. Next, I'll make one with the Sterling and then with the Mitchells. And I think I'll just be quiet during those and I'll whip it up. Um, I like double speed, one and a half times. All right, everything's been rinsed. I've taken a scoop of Executive Man. Like I was saying, if you do scoop, it doesn't matter how much you scoop. Play with it, figure it out, make it your own. Just like when you're cooking in the kitchen, you know, and you have a recipe, doctor it up, make it your own. Same thing works here. I like to put the soap. I haven't done any pre-shave. There's no pre-shave in this. Just executive man. I like to put the soap in first. This this knot is full of water. And the reason why I like to put the soap in first is just so I can get it loaded up into the brush. That way I'm not whipping up the soap too much and putting excessive amounts of air into the brush. That's one thing that we run into if we start whipping it up too much, too fast, too often, is that you run the risk of putting air into it. So to avoid that, I just, you know, get it up into the brush. And again, if you're Loading the brush from the tub, start off with about half. I'm going to go just a dollop more. Half of what you'd normally use. Okay, I'm going to zip my lip and we'll put the rest of this on fast forward. All right, Mitchell's has been blooming for about 10 minutes. The boar brush has been soaking that same amount of time. I have not shook any of the water out of that boar brush. That boar brush is full of water. I'm just gonna set it here. I'm gonna take Prazo Blue and put a dollop of it into the bowl. Since I'll be bowl lathering, I'm just gonna put the shaving cream in here first. This is why I decided to do it the way that I'm doing it today is to show you guys multiple ways of how I do it and maybe that would will help out the guys who have never tried this before seeing it done a few different ways so lots of water is in this brush maybe I will give it a little shake all right Couple more seconds. I love Mitchell's. The fragrance is just okay, but the performance is just amazing. I love Mitchell's. 
one thing that's cool about this, guys, is I'm sure a few of you have already thought about mixing and matching these fragrances. You can create some great fragrances. And I actually, so I like Adventist Creed. I have five or six dupes of it. I don't, I don't know offhand. But I really like this, the combination of the Executive Man and the Sterling together. There's just something about those two that complement each other. All right. Let me give my hands a little rinse. All right, so we have a dollop of Prezzo Blue already in the bowl. All right, here we go. This should create a monster lather. And you can see it's wet right now. That's all the water in that brush, but that's okay. That water is not going to last. It will thicken up. Really, you need a bowl with higher walls. Looking good. We can do better. Oops. Rinse my hands for nothing now. That's all right. So, you know, with any of these, you could put pre-shave in there if you wanted to. I just decided not to. Like I was saying, when I'm trying to create an epic lather and I'm having fun with it, I'll put pre-shave in the bowl. First thing I do. Well, second thing I do, because first I'll put pre-shave on my face. And then I'll put some pre-shave in the bowl. Is it overkill? Probably. Uh, is it fun? Damn straight. Like I always say, I don't care how you're shaving. As long as you're enjoying it, you're doing it right. For me, that's the only criteria that a good shave has to meet, is did you enjoy it? You can cut yourself to pieces, you can leave stubble, and as long as you enjoyed it, according to my barometer, that's a damn fine shave. Shaving should be enjoyable. Look at all this lather. We probably even take it further than I already have. Give it a couple more quick whippy whips. Dang good consistency there too. Look at that. There's so much in there I can't get it all in my hand. Great consistency, and this will still thicken up if I was to put it on my face now, of course. It will continue to thicken and dry. Mitchell's Wolf Hat and Perrazzo. Great combination. Oh, and it smells good. It's like a light Perrazzo blue the way that I did it. So once again... Play with this, make it your own, do it your own way. I recommend starting out with like a two to one ratio. And as long as you have fun and to hell with the results, have fun with it. It's only shaving, enjoy it. It's a little big things like playing with lather. Oh, I remember playing with lather or playing with Play Doh. It's kind of what this reminds me of. And it's so satisfying, just squeezing it between your fingers. All right, you guys all have a good day. I'm going to sit here and play with my lather for another 20 minutes or so. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful. And uh, remember to look for those links in the description below. Take care.